Facebook. How fantastic. Hi, Facebook. Okay, we're gonna start. <laughs> It is 12 yeah. minutes going down past the 12 o'clock hour. Another long Monday, but I'm here. This is the In the Spotlight radio show, and we're here for another program. And we're coming fresh from the series of the Miss Dominica contestants. We had them over two Mondays. The Monday before, we had three of the ladies. And last week, Monday, we had the two other ladies and Miss Dominica 2017, Jade Romaine. Of course, as we all know by now, we had no Miss Dominica pageant in 2018. We did have carnival celebrations, but we had a carnival on somewhat of a scaled down aspect. But we are here again tonight. Yes, we are. And I am so honored to have this lovely lady with us in studios tonight. I'll tell you where she is in just a while, if you do not yet know. Just want to say good evening to you, wherever you are tonight, logged in and tuned in to the program. If you tuned in via 95.1 FM, we're happy to have you. If you're online via www.ysq95da.com, we're happy to have you as well. If you tuned in via TuneIn or any of the other online mediums, we're happy to have you. And we're also live via Facebook. <laughs> you're such an entertainer. <laughs> you look like an Egyptian tonight. <laughs> Channeling the gods. <laughs> you can see <laughs> via our Facebook page, via my Facebook page, and I think Kadisha is also sharing it on the In the Spotlight page and the In the Spotlight fans page as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to Q95. Thanks to Innovate Multimedia. Thanks to Josephine Gabriel and Company Limited and the other folks who support us. We are very, very happy to have you as part of the In the Spotlight team. And Kadisha, of course, is here. Stay tuned. In just a moment, we will introduce our guest tonight on the In the Spotlight radio show. Tonight, the lovely Egyptian looking. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Marie Claire Giro is in studios with us tonight. It is such a pleasure. This lady is a 
actually visiting um, for a short period of time. She's visiting for a short period of time. And I happen to have seen a photo on social media of her and someone else. Yes. And I inbox that person and said is Marika and Dominica <laughs> and I was told yes I was I asked awesome how long is she here for just for a short period of time I said okay I need to have her on because I really love this lady I love oh, the work that she does and I, I want to hear her story it, it, I think more importantly I really just wanted to know what you've been up to mm -hmm. um, because I see uh, um, occasional postings on social media and so on but outside of that, you know, I don't really know what you've been up to, young lady. Good evening to you. Thank you so much, Verdina, for having me on. I really appreciate it. It is a pleasure to have you. Tell me about that hairdo that you have going on there. So, um, I'm, I love history, mm -hmm. and I studied archaeology at Brooklyn College in New York, and so I'm always, like, going back to, if I want braids, I want it to look like from Egyptian, which is part of our history. Mm -hmm. So I go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I take the pictures on the wall, you know, and I go to the African ladies from Senegal around my block in the Bronx and I say, can you do my hair like that? And they're like, sure. <laughs> and there we go. It's yes. beautiful. beautiful. Uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. I love thank the you. gold yes. Yes. Um, beads. I just there. did that tonight. I just put these. Actually, I wanted each strand. Did you do that gold. for me? I did that just for you for I, tonight. I feel special. You should. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Markley, we, yes. we on this program, you yes. know, we, we almost start from the bottom up, right? right? We right. want to know, we want to know about the person, we want mm -hmm. to know somewhat of their background, where they come from, right. and all of that. I mean, you've been gone for 10 years. I have. Why I have. so long? I lived in 2011, and I just, I, I went back to mm -hmm. New York, and it wasn't anything that I, I felt that I would stay away that long, or, or that I even thought about the time that I was away. I was just really busy, okay. you know, pursuing opera, um, pursuing jazz, writing songs, composing music with composers, you know, it, I was just immersed and completely involved in my career, and New York is a place where I can really pursue my love, it's where I was raised, although I'm from Dominica, mm -hmm. born and right here, about that. Um, I love this Triple K song, was it from DA, what is that song called? <laughs> Born in DA something, where I'm from, what is that? I just heard it on the, oh my God, this one's amazing, I want it. It's like, yes, love it. And um, it reminded me of the old Triple K songs, Clear the Way, that's another song that I absolutely adore, you know? Um, but yeah, New York is a place where I can, I can pursue the kind of music that I really love, pursue and excel and be accepted and thrive, actually. And, that, and that's what it, ha what it has been like. That's what it has been like, absolutely. But what brings you back home at this time? Um, what brings me back home? Well, um, Hurricane Maria devastated the island, of course. My mom has property here. I'm checking on that. Seeing my dad, you know, and just basically getting some R&R &R time. I've been very busy. I just did an operatic program um, and performances that's affiliated with the Met Opera that is for opera singers that are on the verge of becoming professional. That was so, that was, it was called the winter intensive, and trust me, it was intensive in every single way. And after, I was like, you know what, I have time, I'm, I'm going to go to down to Dominica. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, so when I got off that plane for Dinah, and I felt that sun, Lord Jesus Christ, I was so thankful, because yeah. it's minus 10 in New York City, yes. the when I left. It has been bad. It's been horrible. And I was told that it, there's some weather coming yes. again. Yes, winter storms and yes. snow, so I'm Well, you were away from that. But my sister Gelx is there, in yes. it, so you know. Um, you Hi Gail, happy birthday! You. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Not that Gail. Not that Gail. <laughs> Not that Gail. <laughs> but you can sing happy birthday okay. to that Gail. Happy birthday is it Gail Giro? to you. Yes. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my sister. Mwah. Oh my God. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> I know. I, I think I'm going to have an absolute fun time with you tonight. We're going to have a blast oh, for Diana. I'm, I'm going to Two almost, hours will not be enough. I'm, 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 I'm almost going to forget that it's been a very long day. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. And that I'm a bit hungry too. <laughs> We're going to have an effervescent day. You're going to fill me up. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, Marie Claire, let us, yes. um, um, you know, some persons might probably not know who you mm -hmm. are. Right. 
and might be wondering, um, but who's this girl for that house on tonight? I don't yeah. know who this girl is, yeah. you know. Um, um, where did she come from? Tell us about you. Like so um, <laughs> I'm born in Dominica, right? Right here in Roseau. Um, I lived on Virgin Lake with my mom and my dad, Julian Juro and Joyce Buffon Juro, my mom. And when I was four, actually my grandmother is from Grand Bay and my, my grandmother, my mother's side is from Grand Bay and my grandmother, my father's side is from Peachland. So I feel very connected to South I'm City. I'm from Peachland. Yeah. So we're cousins. We could be we're, cousins. We, we, we're possibly. cousins. Possibly. We're, we're just going to claim that. Yes. We're cousins. All right. Okay. Cousins. 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 <laughs> So I feel very connected to South City, and I actually, I actually love that part of the island, especially when it's full moon, you know, and you're looking over the bay in Grand Bay. It is just, it's gorgeous. It's really stunning and beautiful. I want to know a little bit more about your mom and dad. So my mom, my mom grew up here, you know, um, working. Was your mom the architect? No, no, that's my dad's second wife. Okay. Um, okay. My, my dad's first wife is my mom, Joyce okay. Buffon, was maiden name, and. Um, when I was four years old and my brother was six months old, she moved us to the Bronx, okay. New York, and that's where I was raised. But she always kept us very connected to Dominica. Mm -hmm. She always brought us back summer holidays, Christmas. So we always, I especially have a really strong tie to Dominica. Yes, mm -hmm. I always want to come back and etc. I love the island. I've been drinking cane juice ever since I've been, I got back. You've, you've had cane juice since you came back. Yes, I've day. not had cane juice. At the bridge. Look, at the bridge, every morning he's there. Every you, day, all day he's there. And you better not tell me you've had jelly. Oh, of course. No yes, way. Yes. I have not had jelly since Hurricane Maria. Where did you get it? Listen, I got a guy, Leroy. Leroy is my guy. First of all, Leroy is... Wait, Leroy you need to hook me up with Leroy. I'm going to hook you up with Leroy, okay? Because he, Leroy is that guy that if you want something, Leroy, trust me, will find it. <laughs> Big up to you, Leroy. Yes, and um, I, I love my favorite cocktail is rum and coconut water. That's the best. It's the best. Yes. So Leroy has gotten you coconut yes. jelly nut since yes. you've been here. Yes, and I drink and we're past our topic of <laughs> jelly no. and well. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. We shall change that though. We're going to change that <laughs> from tomorrow. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. You see, I'm, 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 you have me quite joyful. I'm so yeah. happy. I'm so you, happy for that. You realized how I came in. I saw how you came so in. So you know, yes. I wasn't very joyful. <laughs> you were not content at all. <laughs> Look at you, look at how you can just change this, you know, the whole atmosphere and the spirit and everything in here. You know, you have to... How you can you to, do that? You have to fill your life with joy every day. We're only on this earth for a very short period of time and um, you have to try and change it for the better, oh. I feel. Do you try to be like that? I, I do. I, I really, I really do. I worked in hospitality in New York for a long time and that really um, allows you to get to know people, how to treat people, how to get something out of someone that doesn't want to give it you know like when you walk into Dwayne Reed for instance in New York mm -hmm. you know everybody has a name tag mm -hmm. you know um you say good evening Ron how are you all of a sudden Ron hi I'm starts Ron. having a whole oh, long conversation smiles with you. did you find everything that you needed can I get you yes it, kindness is free yes. you know and we can just give it freely of ourselves a smile is free it doesn't cost anything to be kind to someone Marika Giro is spreading some love and some kindness, and you're going to do that for the next two hours. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to see Let's talk about, but we'll talk about you and your background yes. a little bit more. Yes. But, you know, since you're talking about kindness and, and love and all of that, um, in terms of Hurricane Maria, mm -hmm. did you get to see what happened to Dominica? Oh, my God. I, I saw, um, of course, Dominica was... was you couldn't contact Dominica after Hurricane Maria. And I saw all of the videos on Facebook and on Instagram, and I cannot even imagine what it must have been like to be on island. You know, um, I have a very a relative, well, not a relative, but you know, when you know people forever, they become your aunts and your uncles, and they live in goodwill, and he's 80 something years old, and he said, Marika, I've never experienced anything like that in my life. He said, I literally thought I was gonna die. Yeah. So that's when you think that your next hour might be your last hour or your next minute. It's quite terrifying, so mm -hmm. I can only imagine. And when you landed here, what did you think? I saw bits of it. When you go, when you're at Melba Hall and you exit Melba Hall Airport and you look across the river, you couldn't see through the bush. And you could see right through the bush, through the mountains, so as far as the eyes can see. So I can only imagine, 
yeah, and on the drive down, all the fallen trees and, and the deforestation and all, it's, yeah, I can't imagine. What is one of your favorite songs to do? Oh my God. Ooh. One of your favorite. In every genre? We want, I just want one of your favorites now. Oh my God. Just right off the top of my head, I'm old fashioned. You're old fashioned. Yeah, I'm, I'm old fashioned. So, um, old fashioned would take you to home. Yeah. To whom? To whom? Which oh. artist would you do? Oh my God, Ella Fitzgerald. Oh my God, give us something. Yeah, okay. No give problem. us something. Give Here us something. Go. Here we go. I'm old fashioned. I love the moonlight. I love the old fashioned things. The sound of rain upon a window pane. The starry song that April sings. This year's fancies are passing fancies, but sighing sighs, holding hands. This my heart understands. But I don't mind it That's how I want to be As long as you agree To stay old-fashioned To stay old-fashioned To stay old-fashioned With me And now I get what you're saying. You was I thought you were saying you're old fashioned, so right. you were going to do something oh, of someone who's right. you know from right. that right. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> but you were going to do a song called, called I'm old, old fashioned. fashioned. Yes. Oh my yes. god. It's a jazz standard. Yes. That was beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank Where you. Where did the singing come from? It you know, my mother told me that I sang before I spoke. And my mother love is a big fan of Tom Jones, and so she always had in the, in the house, like, what's up, pussycat? Whoa. And that's the song we'd sing in the house, whoa, 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 what's up, pussycat? <laughs> <laughs> and so I've always been singing, and I was put into choirs at a very young age because I loved to sing. I had a naturally big voice, melodic voice, and it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I found the voice. And... A very good friend. I started to work at Tower Records in New York. These things, record stores don't exist anymore, but they were magical places in New York City. And um, and I got introduced to some incredible forms of music, jazz, um, scores, um, just Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Ella Fitzgerald, Dinah Washington, Sarah Vaughan, Patsy Cline. I mean, it was just a world opened up to me. And a very good friend of mine that I met at Tower, she was hosting this band from Austin, Texas at the Village Vanguard. And she said, "America, I wish you learned some Fever by Peggy Lee. So I learned it. And she plies me with tequila that night. And she's like, guys, get Mary Cliff from stage to sing. And for Dinah, it's like, honestly, when mm -hmm. I got up on that stage and I sang, what was I doing up until that moment? Was I alive? Was I alive? Oh. Was I alive? It's like I. That's when I. That's when Just I was born. Discovered. It's like God literally spoke to me. He literally spoke to me. He said, "Mary Claire, finally, you found it." And did this on FIFA that night. That night, and it was like there was nothing you else. You knew it. You knew that you needed work. Yeah, I learned it. I learned. I learned the song, and um, they asked me, honest and get them up there. They knew the song. It's a, everybody knows that song. Any musician knows that song, Fever, and that's Peggy Lee made famous. And it's like I, there was no turning back after that moment. And nobody believed I can sing. Nobody, I mean, nobody, 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 except for me. What do you mean when you say that? I mean, nobody. Nobody. Believed you could sing. Yeah, that I could actually do it, that I could do this. Like, you know, because, you know, West Indians would really think yeah. that... Actually, black people don't really think that the arts are anything viable and they can make a living from it. 
So it's like it's a nice hobby you can do on your weekends and on your days off and your spare time, but not something to be taken mm -hmm. seriously. Mm -hmm. So when I told my family, they're like, what? Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. as a parent, you want your child to be secure and, mm -hmm. and doctor, you right? know, you know, something that, that you know, you don't have to worry about them, mm -hmm. you know? And um, my mother was like, there is no way, you know, that you, a singer, jazz, what? and that time it was jazz, it was in opera at that time. And I was like, no, no, God spoke to me. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. Give me a little bit of fever. Okay. Never know how much I love you. I never know how much I care. But when you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. <laughs> you see, Fernanda, you know fever. Everybody knows fever. And yes. you went up there that night and yeah. you did that. And I did it, and it was there was no turning back. At From that there. Point. There was no turning back. No one could deter me. Short of death. Yes. Of death. Yes. We're going to come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back to that in just a while. Um, but you said at age four, mm -hmm. your mother moved you. Um, you and my brother. Your brother. Yes. Um, to New York. Yes. At four years old, mm -hmm. um, do you remember this at all? Oh, yeah. I remember going to convent prep and um, having coming home. My mother would have my hair in curls and my ribbons in my hair and the uniform. I have really, I have memories of that. You do? And everything. Yes. For you? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the woman across the street was Phyllis. She had a little shop that I always used to go to Phyllis for her bread and jelly. My mom had bread and jelly at our home, but I don't know what it was about Phyllis shop bread and jelly, that there was something special there that I had to have Phyllis's bread and jelly. So my mother didn't want me running across the road because everyone is dangerous in Virgin Lane. So she got to the point where she would have leave me naked in the house so I would not cross the street and I would still cross the street. Naked? <laughs> oh my God. And I'd say, Phyllis, I come for my bread and jelly. And she said, yes, darling, come. And she would put me, she would put a towel around me and sit me on the school and I would have my bread and jelly. Do and you I remember that? Yes. yes. You have a very good memory. Yes. Yes. So you moved up to you moved up to the United States to New York. Yes. Um, uh, tell me about life, life then. Life then, well, in New York. Coming from Dominica and going to New York, I mean, even though I was in New York, I would my the home was a, a Dominican home. You know, we had cocoa tea, we had tallfish breakfast. My grandmother cooked all that traditional food. It was very much a West Indian household, a Dominican household. So I never missed that. But of course, when I left, I was in New York City, you know, in the Bronx. And um, I, I love New York. I love New York. I love New York City. Yeah. It's my, it's, it's my home, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And you, you grew up in the Bronx? I grew up in the Bronx. Okay. Yes. The let, us, down. let us talk about um, life as a young woman, young yes. black woman. Yes. Um, growing up in that part of the world. Yes. Um, going to school, yes. getting an education, yes. um, the culture. It's it's um, because I was brought up there so young. Mm -hmm. I was it was easy for me to, I guess, assimilate. Mm -hmm. But what I did realize is that my first experience of racism in America was from African Americans. Really? Because I was from the Caribbean, and my hair was curly. My mother curled my hair, and it curled naturally. My skin the color of my eyes. Black American girls, they picked, What's the color of your eyes? I have light brown eyes. Oh. And, and they picked up on that. They're like, well, and they're not where are you from? No, they're not contacts. Okay. No. And they're like, where are you from? And why does your hair curl? One girl even cut, my, cut one of my curls off. And my mother was in school practically every day, talking to the principal. She's like, if my daughter gets attacked one more time, I am going to do this. Because it was, there was one girl, I remember this girl so vividly, Donna Scott. Do you remember her name? <laughs> That was Fort Silverback. She was Fort Silverback, if you know what that means. No, I don't. A Silverback Gorilla. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and she had three plaques. Even in a Hurricane Maria winds, these plaques would not move. <laughs> <laughs> so I can understand why my curls would be offensive. You know? <laughs> So, so 
you experienced that, but yes. did you have any other similar type experiences? Yeah, I mean, that? when I was when I was seven, um, you know, growing up, to, growing up being brought up in New York, my mother didn't get like any child support. You know, when she and my dad divorced, so she had to basically come back to New York and start from scratch and did all kinds of jobs. We had to go to babysitters after school and. My babysitter's son at seven raped me when I was seven, and what? he was 35 years old, and um, it was, yeah, and after that, my mother felt that getting me out of New York in the summer times, you know, she would send me up to my aunt's house in Maryland, and where her husband molested me for eight years. You can't be serious. No, I'm very serious. But you say it so casually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a long road. It's been a long road. Yeah. So you've been raped? Mm -hmm. And sexually molested? Mm -hmm. Me too, it's for real. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. What happened to the people involved? Nothing, you know, um, there's something about sexual abuse that the victim is, is not the victim. The victim becomes, you know, the one that's shamed, the one that's, you know, that, that nothing happened to them. You know, it's okay. It's, my, my family basically said, you know, we know now, just forget it. But how do you forget that? You know, how do you forget something like that? You, it's impossible. That's that shaped my childhood. That was my childhood. It's like nine years. For nine years of your childhood, that happened to you. Yeah, from seven to sixteen. For, from seven to sixteen. Yeah. Yes. I'm 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 stunned. Yeah. You realize, right? Yes. And you said nothing happened to anybody. No. And your family just said it happened already? They said that it's we know about it now, just forget it. And and I and I you know okay. forgiveness forgiveness is a is a is a big thing. And for me, um, at at some point I had to forgive. Because if you have to hold on to that kind of hatred towards yes. other people, it would have destroyed me as a person. And I couldn't let that happen. So you have to dig deep, and I, I went through years of therapy, which sometimes I do even now. I was now. about to ask, you Sometimes know, I go to therapy even this? now. I go to therapy even now because it's something that I'm constantly in, in flux with. Because do, you, you do, do you remember? Of do course. You go, do you go back there sometimes? No, I don't go back there, but memories do come back, and, and it's something that basically is, it happened for a long period of time. So it basically becomes the norm. The norm. Being abused becomes normal. And being normal becomes the default. So I'm constantly checking myself. You know? Oh my. Yeah. But you, you I mean how how do you how do you how do you come out of that? You have when to this have, happens to you for nine years. You I had I think that, you know, um I, I, I had an interview. Sitter. Yeah, I had to you know, I had an interview last year, um with a very famous photojournalist, Ruddy Roy. He had an Instagram story, and he had said, how did you get through that? And yeah, music is a huge thing in my life. And um, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, there's something in that piece of music that it came to me at an extremely dark period. And if you listen to the symphony, this is some, about someone not only overcoming, but surviving and thriving. And do you understand that from the music? Yes, I understood that so from somebody, the music. Somebody like me may not under, get that from the music. If you, you got yes, that from I it. got it. I got that from it. And um, and I and I said to myself, if, if I felt that he wrote that for me, even though it was written hundreds of years ago. I felt that that was written for me, and that if I can overcome this, and if because Beethoven did not have an easy life either, mm -hmm. and obviously he was going through something as well, or many things. And if he can do it, I can do it. And the music just has been my, my soundtrack. Your escape. My, yeah. 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 I'm sorry I had to go through that. Thank you. But it's made me stronger. Are you okay now? Yes, I'm okay. A little, a little bit crazy. A little bit <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Who becomes normal after that? Normal sure. is not possible. Sometimes I can't help myself, <laughs> you know. No, program, it's okay. I try to, you know, I know as a host, sometimes of a program, you, I cry very easily, I'm right. sorry. No, know? it's okay. Um, so it's re it really saddens me to kind of hear that from you. And um, for you to tell me that you're okay, you yeah. know, it's, it, it's, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> but just ima- thank you. I appreciate that. But just imagine the, the thing kids. Is, the yeah. thing is, I didn't see that coming because right. we didn't get the speech before. <laughs> right. I, I thought you saw all. I mean, it's 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 on my Instagram. It's on my it's something I, that I'm very I've been right. Seeing. My day, as right. you know, you know. So I really didn't have the time to really go on, and which right. is what I do sometimes, you know, and do my little, you know, rewrites right. and so right. on, because I came from one thing to the other. So. You know, to come here tonight and to hear you share that is yes. like you know I am really reacting like um, no, and that's and that's but think I about no clue. but think about the young people out there or even yes. the adults out there who have been through something like this that did not get the help that did not dig deep to, to, to heal themselves and that's carrying all of that inside of them. Not all of us are made strong to withstand this. Yeah. This is devastating to do to a person, to do to a child. For nine years. There is no punishment on earth enough for a person that does this to a child. There's no punishment enough. Enough. It, there's there isn't enough. A bullet is not enough. This is like constant torture that you need to do this person. Has that in any way um, led you towards these people who have had your similar type experience? You know, in terms of helping them to cope and helping. Every them? time that I go on tour, like for instance, I did two years back to back of the um, Cartagena Jazz Festival in Colombia, and every time I do tours, I always ask the promoters of whatever city, "Can I go to a group home? Can I go and I to speak to the kids?" And you should see the looks on their faces when I talk to them. Because, you know, it's not only to survive it, but to actually excel and to talk to them about it. That they see somebody who is like them, mm-hmm. their skin color, you know, that is talking to them about it, saying that it's not your fault, that you can survive, it's not your fault, you know? And you're not broken. Uh, they're cracks, but I'm not broken. They're cracks. Yeah. They're cracks. How do it's, you deal with those cracks? It's, um, I love myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's and, what and, you do. Yeah, I love myself, and I know that God is very big. I mean, I'm not a church-going person mm-hmm. per se, mm-hmm. but um, I believe myself to be a spiritual person, and I know that he or she in the universe is on my side. Oh, wow! Yeah. Right. And I just and I just want to fill the world with as much love as possible, especially for the young people out there who might be going through something like this. Mm-hmm. Find somebody to talk to. Yes, I, I, and I was about to say this to you. Um, what if there is someone or someones mm-hmm. who are going through this mm-hmm. at the moment? And um, it's interesting that you brought this up tonight, and I had no clue. Um, yesterday, I was having a conversation with a young lady, mm-hmm. and she too was raped a couple of times. And she told me that she couldn't, she, she stayed with her grandmother mm-hmm. and she said her grandmother never believed her. So she just had to continue enduring it and there was nothing she could do about it. Because it's one thing for, the, for, the, for a child, it's very hard for any, whether you're a child or you're an adult, to go to someone and say that this is happening, you know? Because the victim is always looked on badly. Mm-hmm. But then also, as adults, as caregivers, it is our responsibility, if you know a child, right, and you know that child is behaving differently, there is a reason. Mm-hmm. Find out what that reason is. Because not everybody can talk about it. Mm-hmm. You know? Not, it's not easy. Find out what that reason is. There's a reason why this child has changed, why this child is acting out. Why, you know why something is happening. Why do... Why do parents or the guardian or whoever in many cases, why do they not believe? Because it's easier. It's easier not to believe. It's easier not to believe to just um, 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 brush it under the carpet, mm-hmm. you know, to dismiss the child, to, you know, rather than face, mm-hmm. face it, to face the abuser that's doing it. This, this, this is incredible. Um, I don't want children now because I'd be one kind of psychotic mother because you, trust me. You don't have Oh, no, 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 nor do I want. You no, don't want no, any. I know my limitations. Do you yeah. think that is a, one of the... Oh, yeah, I'd be psychotic. If, if my child was to come to me and tell me that, there's no law in the land that would stop me. But do you think it's because of your experience that you do not want children and you don't want girl children in And I, it, it doesn't even girl or boy. I mean, there are so many predators out there. They're just predators. And that prey on younger people. You don't want any no, kids. no, 
Oh, it's okay. I have nieces and nephews, and yeah. And you give them the love. Lots of love, and I have a godchild out there sitting in the waiting room. That so that's your me. godchild. Yes. Okay. Imani. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least we can still smile, and 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 um. You you spoke about this and, mm -hmm. and I mean we'll go into the into the yes, yes, the rest yes, of yes, you know yes. why we're here but yes. I think that's an important subject to spend a bit of time on. Absolutely. You came you came, you, 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 you just blurted it out. Yeah. Do you speak about it openly? Oh, like oh, this? Openly. I have how many you Instagram have, posts about some this. Some people Facebook. might say that, you know, um people are usually ashamed why should i be ashamed um, to if, speak about these types of things but there's no shame there's no shame in it i didn't do it somebody did it to me so why should i be ashamed the more you speak the more you let it out the more, it's a healing process that's life it's a lifelong healing process you're still healing yeah did you ever encounter any of the other people no after no any other people no you're a very strong woman. Sometimes it's exhausting. exhausting. <laughs> but at least you can smile. Absolutely. And you can come here and sing and smile and, and make us happy. Absolutely. I mean, you made me so happy from here. Can you show you how? Yeah. 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 You can change this all. I'm really happy that you came here tonight. So am I. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm, Thank I'm you. Very, I'm very pleased to have you. Thank you. Very, very Thank pleased you. to have you. And I hope probably while you're here that maybe, I, 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 you know what? I would mm -hmm. love for you to speak to that young lady. I, I would absolutely love to. Yesterday. I would love I, to speak I, to I her. I think I would love that. that would I, think be... you, I think you would do a lot for that young lady. I would, no problem. I, 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 I think you would. And if there's I groups that I could speak to, sure. I have you no would problem. be happy to that while absolutely. you're here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you're a good person to do that. You have to. Um, you have to. You have to encourage. You have to inspire. You have to motivate, and you have to let children know that even if you don't have the means to provide them to excel in your dreams, that it's possible. Anything is possible. You know, you should never limit a child, and children should be protected at all costs. Why have them if you're not going to protect them? If you're not going to protect them, Thank you're you. so precious. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime. All right. <laughs> Good. All right. So, <laughs> are we going to sing something just to segue? What do you want to do? I love the singing. I love yes. the singing. It's making me feel very, um, very relaxed. <laughs> Which one? What were you on the day? Ayola and I, you know, while well, I was, well, in my years, I can't even remember it right now, Ayola. How does it start? <laughs> I created, created a song and. She was humming into sleep. Yes. And we created. <laughs> so I asked her, whose song is that? I said, I just made it up. She just went yes. So then yes. we just made words to yes. it. She's a creative but, but you know what? In the, um, maybe in the commercial, we'll go over it. Yeah. And then on the next yeah. break, we'll yeah. do it. Okay. Um, so what would you like to do? But hear? we want something. You want something? Do you do reggae? Um, 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 what can I do? Rest of my chance? Oh, rest my yes. Okay, I'll do rest right. my <laughs>
wow. This this is not what we're familiar. Yes. We're not familiar with this. Right. It you might. know that, right? Yes. 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 So it's strange for us to have a Dominican here. Mm -hmm. Um, in, in, yes. in, 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 on island, the yes. Dominican doing yes. that type of music. And I have the, I recorded it with Sprother Benz. Oh, yes. yes. I read that in your, yes. in your, in your, um, in your bio. Yes. So listen, that yes. was opera. Yes. That was opera. Yes. Oh wow. my goodness. Yes. Your voice is so powerful. I know. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> in Jamaica. Yes, yes, in Jamaica and we have it we have it recorded and and, he, and yeah. You know, and he came down for the EP release and he was here and we did it at Fort Young. Yes. I wasn't there. I <laughs> wasn't I invited? <laughs> I wasn't invited. You must have been invited. You must have been off island. Uh, maybe, yes. You were off island. So, yes. We're going to keep it like that. You That's were off island. Yeah, yeah. That's the story. And yeah, we're sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. It is. it is. I'm enjoying this a lot. Yes, yes. yes. This is absolutely beautiful. And, 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 you know, in between the program, we're going to do this. So yes. we keep our audience, you know, going, and yes. we, we yes. share the information, we Absolutely. conversate, yes. and yes. then we sing. And then we sing. So you do opera, mm -hmm. and what else? Jazz. 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 I did with the old fashioned. So, so, so what you did earlier on was jazz. That was jazz. That was okay. a jazz standard called I'm old fashioned, which is written by Irving Berlin. <coughs> okay. Yes. All right. And what else do you do? And um, I do a mix where I mix my operatic vocals with hip hop. Yes. yes. I remember you had done some hip hip opera. Right. Yes. Yes. Something. Yes. yes. I remember yes. that though. Yes. So you know, I know some. I know you do. a bit about you, you and what you yes. do. Yes. Absolutely. Know? So you do hip hop. Hip opera. Right. I sing opera. What is hip opera? Just mixing my my. I do freestyle operatic vocals. Over hip hop, over hip hop beats. Like let's say, for instance, yes, give um, us an instance. If you if you put on um, Kanye West, Power, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? The instrumental. I would just do some freestyle operatic vocals over that beat. I see. Yeah, off the top of my head. Off the top of your head. Yes. All right. Yeah. So it's very spontaneous, mm -hmm. right? Off the top. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have to be skilled and talented to be able to do that. Right. Right. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> You said the day you you were at the uh, your mother said from from yeah you, before I could talk I sang okay yes so let us talk about the yes. the, the history of, of where the singing started okay. so then and where it ended up so I was always singing then then I um I started working at Tower Records and which introduced me to the reason why I sing which is Ella Fitzgerald who's just oh, everything she's everything 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 you do not have Ella Fitzgerald on your iPad, I suggest you go on to iTunes and download something immediately. It doesn't matter. Everything she's done is great. And because for Ella, for me, she grew, she came up in a time, same time with Billie Holiday, but whereas Billie Holiday, all I hear is like the sad, the, very much the sadness and the pain, Ella Fitzgerald sang with so much happiness and effervescence. She sang with so much joy. You know, at a time when it wasn't joyful to be a black person in the United States of America, there was mm -hmm. segregation, you couldn't go here, you couldn't go there. And she sang with this joy, and I connected so much with that. Yes. And then I started, then um, I started singing these songs, you know, Anna, I was always hanging out, I was always singing, and my friend, I was like, oh my God, Mary Claire, you have a really good voice. I'm like, you know, you're biased, you're my friend, you know, you can you're just say I can sing. You're supposed, you're supposed to say, say that. Sing to me. You're supposed to say I can sing. <laughs> That's your job, you know? <laughs> you're and so, <laughs> and so um, she's like, okay, fine, fine, it's my job, fine. So she, had, she's, so she left Tower and she started to be an A&R for Polygram Records, which is now defunct right now. And um, she said, okay, Mary Claire, I'm hosting this band. Why don't you just learn the song Fever by Peggy Lee, right? And got to the Village Vanguard, this band was from Austin, Texas, we hung, we hung out with them the whole week they were in New York, it was their last performance, and I was like, she told the band, get Mary Claire on stage, you guys know Fever, this is the key that she sings it in, just started, I was like, Mary Claire, get up on stage and sing, and I sang, and it was magic, it was literally magic, I, it's like God literally spoke to me, there was no one else there, right. me and God, and God said, Mary Claire, Yes, you found it. You this found is your moment. This is your moment. This is what I meant for you to do, and this is what you're going to do. That summer, on and I, we packed up our stuff.
We went to the South. We wanted to plan which city in the South was best suited for jazz, which is what I was saying at the time, and her for rock and roll. And we settled in Austin, Texas. Right? Started working in Tower Records in Austin, Texas. You. Right? Me, mm -hmm. right? And then in the classical department, because I, I, I play classical piano, so I know a lot of classical music. So we got to go to see Don Giovanni being done by the Austin Opera Company. And when I said I went opera, to see Don Giovanni when I was in. Um, yes. Yes. Oh my God. But well, I didn't really know anything about that. Fantastic. But they invited us. Yo, I went and I enjoyed it. Isn't I actually have the ticket and everything in my. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes. And when I saw that, I was like, Anna, I know what I want to do. I want to be an opera singer. She's like, Mary Claire. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Fine for jazz. But well, you cannot just wake up one day and say, I want to be an opera singer. That doesn't happen. You need to this train. You need to do this. You need to do that. It doesn't happen like that. What's that after you went to see Don Giovanni? You decided yes. that? Yes, yes, yes. I was rolling into my 20s. I was like, okay. I made an affirmation to myself that I was going to be on that stage singing. So... I forgot about my affirmation, of course, we forget things. So I'm upstairs in the classical department of Tower Records, putting away music, put on La Bowen, and I'm singing away to it, you know? In walks in the music director of the Austin Lyric Opera Company. I didn't realize, because I'm in my own world, I'm putting away CDs, I'm, I think I'm alone. He stops me, you know, he's like, oh, I said, oh, what, what help do you need? He said, no, I don't need any help. I just wanna, you know, I wanna invite you to audition for me for the Austin Lyric Opera Company. At that point, I forget about my affirmation. I'm like, I can't sing opera. I can't. I don't do this. I don't. What? No. <laughs> He's like, just come down. So I go down. Blah blah. I bombed the audition. I'm horrible. I you were horrible. Oh my god. I sing flat. I sing sharp. I sing everything but what's on the page. I leave with my tail between my legs. I go home. He calls me a week later. He's like, Mary Claire, I want you to come down again. I have a feeling about you. God bless him, Eric. And um. I went down, he was alone in the auditorium, he said, you know what, I want you to go on stage, no piano, no music, I just want you to sing for me as high as you think you can go, just a cappella. I did. Two weeks later, I got a letter saying that I was in the company, and from there, I went to Rome. Incredible. Right? Which, when you're meant to do something, you're meant to do it, and God will find a way. Mm -hmm. And so, when you, 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 you discovered that, that, um, that skill, yes. so you can actually do opera, yes. and what's his name, Eric? Eric, yes. Eric gave you that opportunity. Yeah. What did you go to Rome to do? To study opera. Because I could have gone to Juilliard, I could have gone to all the many um, prestigious music schools in the United States, including New York. New York has at least four. But I wanted to go to the source, where opera was created, ah. you know, and that's Italy, and that's Rome. You know, and that's where I wanted to go. I didn't sing a word. I didn't speak a word of Italian, but I knew I was going, and I knew I had God on my side, and nothing was going to bother me. So I packed my bags and I left and went to Rome. How long for? I went for two years. Two years. Yeah. What happened in Rome? It was fantastic. I say to everyone, I've been telling Iola this, but now she has a baby, so who knows? But I'm telling. That's a lot. You're welcome. I've been telling Iola. If, you, if you're young, even if you're young, even if you're old, get a passport, travel the world, what's stopping you? What is stopping you? Go see the world, there's a whole world out there to explore. Go! Okay. Yes! Broaden your horizons, live a little. Yes. I Learn think, a language. I think I agree. Thank you. With you. Yes, yeah. yes. Learn, live, mm -hmm. you know, don't just sit in your backyard and wish on something. I never want to be 80 years old and sit on a rocking chair saying, what if? No. What if? Yes. I want to say, damn, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, <laughs> so within those two years, within those two years, within those two years, um, you were, were you taught? Yes, I had a taught. teacher. Um, I, took, I took classes at the Conservatory of San Giuseppe in Rome. Um, I went to classes every day with my private teacher, and I was just immersed. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend said if we didn't live together, that he would never see me. Because it was always maestro this and maestro that, and the maestro said, and the maestro and the maestro. He was like, if your maestro wasn't 80 years old, I don't think you guys are having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts when you're being taught um, opera, um, to sing opera? Well, you've learned, you're taught a technique. Um, breathing is extremely important. So you sing on your breath. Basically, you take a breath, 
using because you have all this Because where is it coming from? It's because all of is just moving and it's and coming from it's coming from here. But it doesn't sound like it's coming no, from it you. doesn't. It doesn't. It's, so it's you take breath. You have air pockets all in your back. You have all this down here below your diaphragm, all your stomach. I mean, you t you fill yourself. But then you, there's a, there's a technique where you. It's like being like a balloon, you know, you know those those balloons that you go into the ocean with those those tires, you know, and that's how you are with the air. You're buoyant, you know. So you're taking this breath. I need to actually start like training while I'm here. I'm going to start doing some core training with Adams. Hi, Adams, because my core is not as strong as it in, as it should be. What uh, needs to be strong? To your be core, to... your core, meaning down here. Mm -hmm. This is where you breathe. This is the, the this is the engine. I know in broadcasting, you know, they tell you speak from down speak there. from here. You, you know? breathe from yes. there. That's where they have these voices. Like, yes. This yes. is Peter Jennings reporting from ABC News. Yes. Okay. We're not talking from our mouth. Right. We're actually talking from down there. There, you see how yes. much different that is when yes. you did that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yes. And so, so, so opera singing requires that amount of work. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of work. And it's repetition, scales, repetition, building. It's building the voice. Mm. Yes. But how does that differ from jazz? Oh, jazz is spontaneous. Jazz is like your... So let's say, okay, so... so George Gershwin wrote Summertime for his opera, Porgy and Bess. It's been taken, this song, Summertime, has been taken over by jazz so much that people don't really realize that Summertime is an aria from an opera. They think it's a jazz standard, but it's not. It's actually an aria. Um, but this song has been done so many different ways by everybody from opera, from jazz, from pop, rock, um, you name it. Everybody has sung the song. And one of the best versions is actually Janis Joplin singing um, Summertime at the Monterey Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. She's not an opera singer. I she's not though. trained. She's but, rock, rock. but she's rock. Mm -hmm. and, but this version has so much soul. That oh my God. It gives me, just remember, it gives me chills. You know, because she just, she just had it. She had it, you know? And it doesn't matter whether she wasn't an opera singer. She had it. She conveyed that to you. We're gonna the sentiment. We're going to take a break, Marika? Take you a break. Want a break. You guys come back now. You Do you here? want a break? Tell your <laughs> Facebook friends. Don't leave. Facebook friends. You know, come back. Listeners. Tell your friends to listen. <laughs> Do I look pretty? I'm already a listener. Is very, is, there's a lot of high energy in here. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's after nine in the night, and we have a lot of high energy here. Yes. Yes. And next week, by the way, next yes. week Monday, I suspect we're gonna have just as much high energy. Yes. Because coming from the Calypso semifinals, oh. uh, where the nine finalists will be extracted, oh. we're hoping to have the nine finalists here. I was just um, at the start of the tent. That was next fantastic. Monday. You enjoyed that. Take tape, tape, belly. Woman sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I love some of the same. We yes. take my <laughs> part, but I suspect those on Facebook are very much to have some fun with us. We're coming right back in the lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
said silver bath. Yo, I would have been dying. Oh, that's funny. 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 Oh, that
I think she's preparing me for next week, Monday. <laughs> This when crazy. all of those Calypsonians oh are my here. God. Oh my God, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. is the best, mm -hmm. I love her. You love her. Is yes. it because she's a female? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Calypso. Oh my god, I love Calypso. Like I was just saying, I love Son of the Saint. Mm -hmm. You know, he is one of my favorite because mm -hmm. he's he's so much fun and he speaks truth. When I heard Tay Tay and Belly on the radio, so I you think, laughed. You think Tay Tay so, and Belly is the truth? I hey, I love the song. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great song. Which other one do you like? Um, you know, I I have not really paid much attention to all of them but mm -hmm. this week i am mm -hmm. but this one really struck out struck out to me which one oh that's lady v that's lady v that's yeah. lady v so yes. i am going to pay attention you're going to pay attention yes. this week yes. yes but you're going to be here for the carnival season i am i am i love dice mm -hmm. i think dice's talent is just he's he's incredible mm. I mean, when Dice, you know, there are a lot of great Calypsonians out there, but when Dice gets on stage, it's another level, naturally, because he just has that talent. He has the stage presence, he has the performance, he just, it's just there, you know? And it's so nothing that he's trying, mm -hmm. it's just him. Natural talent. It's just natural talent. Mm -hmm. it's That's uh, fantastic to do see. Do you like Bouillon? What do I you think love, about Bouillon? I love Bouillon. Are you kidding? And how yes. do you think you can rope in Bouillon? An opera? opera? Absolutely. But you know, that takes have a person. Have you tried it? I, you know, that takes a person with vision and imagination. You don't have that? Oh, I have tons. I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never talking about myself in that category. <laughs> not at all. Right? Is it something you think we might hear you do? I mean, I'm oh. not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to not doing anything. Mm -hmm. I will try anything, mm -hmm. you know, because I think anything can be great. That you know, interesting. Once, once it's done well, you know, can you imagine a nice intro, mm -hmm. you know, with some opera over bouillon drums and all of that? Oh my, oh god. my god. The works. What? Asa? What? <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, would be, that's my pips, you know. That would that's be the fantastic. first thing I saw, right? Yeah. That would be fantastic. And he always listens to the program, yeah? right. so right. Um, Asa is probably listening or, listening or watching. Right. He always listens once he's available, he right. listens to the program. Yeah. You never know. That would be amazing. But you know, doing something different takes, takes, a per, takes an artist um, or a group of people that are willing to be open and minded enough to at least try it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. What have you tried? What have you done? What have you produced? What's some of your work? Like, um, for instance, like last year, um, I'm very good friends with Vernon Reed of, of In Living Color, which is like the first like all black rock and roll band that the, um, that the Rolling Stones discovered. They Grammy winning. And Vernon and I have become very good friends. And his record label, RCA, they were looking for an opera singer to work with Rob Stone, who signed to, to RCA, to do, um, Sony has this thing called Out of the Comfort Zone, where they take artists that have hits. And his hit was Chill Bill. And in the track, he loops the whistle from, um, you know, from Kill Bill. It's not really from Kill Bill, but it's used in the soundtrack, you know. And they wanted the hits to be done in a different way, taking the artist out of their comfort zone. So Vernon said, you should use Mary Claire to do it operatically, the whistle, you know. And I went to the studio, got paid a lot of money to just do 15 minutes of, of this loop. Of this what? Loop yes. of, the, of the whistle. Mm -hmm. what, what, what exactly did you have to do? session but I did it um, in like 15 yeah, minutes. I yeah. got my check and I yeah. and you and you dig out and I bounced you bounced and deposited my check. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
tell me some of the other um, unforgettable things that you've done um, from the work that you've produced. Um, oh my God, I've worked with Bob Andy. Yeah, in, in Bob Andy wrote up. So I have. Wait, wait, wait. So let me just say, okay. let me just say something to you. You're calling yes. some names here that I don't know. Yes. So yes. you have to help me okay. know okay. some of the okay. names okay. that you've So Bob Andy right. is a legend mm -hmm. in Jamaica, a right. legendary singer, producer, songwriter. And Nellie Starr, God bless you, Nellie, I miss you so much. Um, Nellie Starr introduced me um, to Bob Andy on one of our many trips to Jamaica. And Bob Andy fell in love with my voice, and he wrote me a song called Constellation. Now, okay. but this is something that's been happening. Like, for instance, John Harbison from America, a major American classical composer, commissioned by the Metropolitan Opera House to, um, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning composer to write the Great Gatsby Opera for the Met. He wrote me a song cycle, you know? And um, so I've had the great fortune of working with some in incredible, incredible musicians. Earl Chinna Smith in Jamaica, mm -hmm. who's another legendary, oh, legendary guitarist, producer, cantankerous, <laughs> but, uh, but, but wonderful teacher and friend, as Bob Andy, teacher and friend, Vernon Reed teacher and friend. Um, I worked with uh, the honor of working with um, great jazz musicians. Like when I want to go back to New York. Um, I'm working with David Murray, who's a Grammy-winning um, jazz horn player. I'm going to be performing with him at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Um, there's a um, El Guero from um, Argentina, who's a Grammy-winning tango um, quartet, where they, they've commissioned me to be their singer for their tour of New York in August mm -hmm. and um, so it's I, I feel very blessed for you. Mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. and Nelly wrote a song for me yeah, I care for you that. and um, yeah Nelly was um, you know it's it's funny because even though Nelly and I you know Nelly's Rasta and I'm so not you know mm -hmm. we were really good friends and mm -hmm. and she's a person in my life that was so supportive you know so supportive and a true friend Really, a true friend. I miss her very much. Oh, that's <laughs> Yes. Um, so you've done some of that. You yes. have some, some um, work coming up as well. Oh, yeah. I'm auditioning for my first paid opera role for the Philly Opera that's coming up in... Your first paid, paid opera, opera role. role. So I'm, I'm auditioning for Puccini's um, Suor Angelica. I'm, I'm auditioning for the part of the, the princess. and But she's a real bitch. And... Um, <laughs> which I actually, I revel in playing villains. It's fantastic. And <laughs> she's a real, yes. yes. Um, but it's a great role. It lasts for maybe 15 minutes, but it's impactful. Okay. In those 15 minutes, it's just, yeah, she makes the ground shake. So you're auditioning for it? Or yes, have you no, I'm auditioning. And this is a big thing because they're coming from Philly to hear me to New York. Oh. So um, it's, this is an, uh, the very fact that they're doing that is an honor for me. So they're coming just to hear you? Just to hear me. Nobody and else? Nobody else. And um, oh. because my voice in the operatic world, I'm a contralto, and I'm the lowest voice, but I have a high extension, so I can go to a high C. So it's the rarest of voices in both male and female. So it's, um, yeah, so I'm like a unicorn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the horn is outside. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so you're something special in the yes. opera world. Yes, I'm something yes. special. Yeah. You, you know, sometimes I say that just to make sure that I understand what you're yes. saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you've done, you've done quite a bit. You've performed here in Dominica. Yes. You actually did Curl in the Park. I did. I, I did. recall that. Yes. Um, yes. For sure. It was something very different for our people. Yes. Um, but you got to do that. Yes. And I think um, it was something of a different dimension that was brought to Curl in the Park. Yes. And um, I don't think many people understood Right. Understood it. Mm -hmm. um, understood right. the type of music because right. it's not something that we're very familiar with. Right. Um, but the the opportunity was there for them to see it. Absolutely, and, and that is, was important. And this is what I love about New York City is that even even though it truly is the melting pot of the world, because even though they don't get it, they will appreciate the fact that you're doing it, and they will give you the space to do it and the opportunity to do it, and they won't put you down because you're doing it. They will allow you to do it and see what comes of it. Yeah. This is what's great about this place. But what do you, what do you think in terms of locally? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Because you're talking about New York, right? Yes. But here, um, do you think that it's something that our people are receptive to? 
Um, is it something that they understand? Um, what is their reaction to what you do been like in Dominica? I have not really been checking for the reaction. I, I didn't come down to um, perform. Mm -hmm. I came really to basically have a vacation. Mm -hmm. So when Ayola called me and said, you know, you wanted to interview me, I was like, oh, I was interviewing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. I don't have the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> we know. <laughs> So, um, but it's something that I would I would love to to while I'm here is to see what's going on musically and see how artists are doing and because there's so much more you know there are artists that are doing hip hop that are that um, um, there's a there's a great reggae band called Diamond Point and I don't think they've had many chances to perform you know there is um, 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 oh what are my guys names um, a two uh, no my my hip hop guys um, um, I can't help you. Here? In the yes. Yes. Who? I can't no. help you. No, it's okay. It'll come to you. Not those guys. Oh. The, the two guys that I, that I did with me, the Creole in the park. Um, uh, anyway. Right. It'll come yeah, to you. It'll come to me. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see more female artists out there. Mm -hmm. That's that's a very positive but thing. But I, I was talking about in terms of the type of music oh. that you do. So for example, mm -hmm. um, I would probably love to see you at Jazz and Creole. That would be wonderful. You know, that yeah. kind of thing, you know? Yes. Um, is that, is that, is that, do you think that we recognize what you do um, to the extent that we would say, okay, we need to bring Marie Claire to Jazz and Creole? No, I don't think I'm recognized. But that's okay. That's fine. It's fine. It does not matter to you. It does not matter. I'm always happy to come to my country. Dominique is my country. It's a place I was born. I love it. You know, but um, whether I'm appreciated or not, I'm still gonna continue. It does not matter. No, to it doesn't you. matter. No. Okay. I mean, based I on the focus more on her fashion than on her, you know, all her stomach outside. You know that kind of thing. Her fashion? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um, yes. When I was here before, you know, before. I, would, I would, I would. There were very few people that had their midriff showing, but that's so silly. You know, it's just uh, okay, fine. You mean like if you show this? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. What's yes. wrong with that? That's your fashion choice. Yeah. But that What's wrong with that? I mean, it's it's it is what it is. I think that I think that as artists and as a country with so many artists with creativity. I mean, we live on this we we live on this little island, right? That is infused with this rich soil that can basically grow anything, and we don't plant enough. Right, and then we have all of these incredibly talented people. Why is it limited only to Bouillon? You know, I love Bouillon, Bouillon is great, but there's so much more given the opportunity. You know, you know, I would love to hear more steel plant. One of the most incredible things the day that I landed on Sunday, um, my dad and I were driving from Merrow Beach. Love Merrow Beach, it's fantastic. Love you, Indies, awesome. Um, and um. La Poca is my favorite. I can dance La Poca Bum 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 Salaman Hule. I can dance to La Oh, I can follow them all day, all night. Yes. And what was so amazing about there was a young kids. There was a kids La and that gave me. I, I, w I was thrilled to see that. So you love Black Oka with oh, the, the, old old the old mass. The old mass, yes, I love that. Yes. I love that. Yeah, and to see that the young people, the young kids, and they were into it. If you saw their faces, da, 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 and there were the drums in there. <laughs> it was wonderful. I love that. I love that, yes. And old CK, old Triple K, yes, all of all that. You love, absolutely. I mean, I get, I get that. I get that you love your culture. Yes. You love your culture. Um, but somebody would, could say uh, opera is not part of our culture. But um, it's coming from me. It's and I am the culture. And you are the culture. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I understand you. Yes. I understand. I you. am Dominica. You are. Yeah. And um, I would love to see you though. Um, do something here. I mean, Joss Stone was here recently. Have, really? Joss Stone. I love Joss Stone. She performed that and I, and oh, so I, I missed it, you know. I, 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 I got an invitation. She's to fantastic. Her, but, I, but I think it was one of those long days. Right. And I yes. really just could not go. I, I really missed that opportunity to see her. Um, yes, yeah, so she was here. So it would be nice wow. to see you do a something. I mean, I, I have a great jazz band in New York that is, are phenomenal. These musicians are just like right now I'm doing a residency at oh this is one of the things I'm doing at Joe's pub at the public theater they've given me a, res a residency which starts um 
at the end of April, and it's called From Deep River to Moved in the Go. So it spans the music. So it's, it's song, I, I pick songs that either was created for, created for, or um, created for, and cre or created by black people. And that's all you do in that in that show. Okay. Yes. So from Deep River to Mood Indigo. So it's from from opera to spirituals to jazz. And you're gonna be doing that for how long? Um, six months. Six months. Yes. So that's in April. That that's for the April until April until yes April until yes. Um, you've done the national anthem. Yes, my dear. Of the United States of America. Of America. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> a game, an NBA game. And many times at the Barclays Center, which is you the most... You go, girl. I know the right? Barclays Center. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Right? <laughs> It's amazing. This young lady is so real. Uh, wow. Good program for that. I'm loving yeah, <laughs> you are. And, you are indeed. And seeing the national anthem at the Barclays Center, which it, is, did which you is opera or regular singing? No, or? opera. I sing the national anthem operatically and I vote in it. Operatically. Is that yes. how you say operatically? Yes, I sing operatically. it operatically. And okay. when you go to the Barclays Center while, while the while the team, the Nets and whatever team they're playing against, mm -hmm. The lights are low, so you don't get to feel the full expanse of the stadium. Okay. And then so I go, I get shown to my dressing room. I get a dressing room. You have room. a dressing room. Yes, mm -hmm. girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have with flowers, flowers, no? With flowers and all kinds of treats and stuff. And, and you feel to, like a star. You know, and someone says, Miss Shiro, do you need anything? I'm like, well. <laughs> So I have my, I do my test, you know, and while I'm um, doing the sound check, the bat, these basketball players that are huge, I don't think they're human. I don't think they're human. That, that, that are um, warming up and moment. practicing mm -hmm. while I'm singing the national anthem. And all you hear, and literally at one point I had to close my eyes because you're like, Tush! because you're going past me while I'm singing. Like, I'm afraid they're going to knock me down because if one of those guys knocks me down, I'm dead. You know? <laughs> and then I leave and they're like, that was, that was really good. I look up and all I see is clouds because they're so tall. I can't even see the tops of their heads. So I go back to my, I don't know who they are, you know, Stoudemire, this, I don't know. I bring my brother and my nephew because I don't know one basketball player from the other. So I go back to my dressing room and they're like, okay, make sure we're going to call you when it's time to, um, for showtime. So I'm like, da, da, da. then they showtime and the stadium is lit up and it is like, it's showtime. And literally... Every eye is on you for oh a minute God. and a half. You know, so it's like, oh, see, can you see? And that is just reverberating in this place. Like, oh yes, honey. God. And you're feeling awesome. <laughs> I came to slay. <laughs> That's how right. You, how do you dress to go do something like that? It depends. It depends. Like the last time I did, I was in a. a it was on. Do they do they tell you how you? No, you can just dress. Okay. You can just dress how you want. It was um one of the one of the times that was really incredible. It was, I think, about a couple years ago when there was that huge Paris um bomb attack. Mm -hmm. It was a couple days after that, and they had a friend in in solidarity with with France. They had a French woman sing the French national anthem. So I had my very good friends. Paul and her bay with me, and this lady was horrible. Oh my God, poor thing! It was really horrible, and and my friend her bay said it's a good thing she's singing before you. I would not want to sing after you at all. <laughs> so I'm warming up. I have my pitch pipe in my ear, remembering my key, you know, because where you start the national anthem is very important because it only goes up. Mm -hmm. So if you if you start too high, there's nowhere else to go. You're not going right. back down. You're right. just going up. And so I start. And for Dinah, first of all, the game was sold out. And it literally, the feeling I capacity. got from the court, it was sold out. What is the capacity? This is 40,000 people. <gasps> mm, yes. I felt the, the love from the audience. The, 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 the hockey player, it was hockey that night. Mm -hmm. They were like stamping their, their, their skates and their picks on the ice. And the crowd, before I even got to the end, the crowd was on their feet. And it, I literally had to like hold myself because my knees were shaking, not for fear, but because of the appreciation from the audience. 
the love that they were sending to me, it was just, and when, and when I hit, and the land of the freak, they were like, I held that note until, until. <laughs> My God, that that experience was incredible. Mm -hmm. Yes, one of the best. That one of the best because something. it was it was a time um, that everybody was feeling a bit down because mm -hmm. of the threat, that this terror threat all over the place. So it was really a time that people really felt the need of that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of your own work. So I I, I write songs like like this afternoon as I was um, rocking mm -hmm. Imani. You know, we, um, I was just humming to him and, and I started singing something and I always said, well, whose song is that? I was like, I just created it. So it's just a matter of just, it just comes to me, you know, like I wrote Chasing Rainbows. Yes, yes. So I wrote a song that my, is my brother's favorite song and it's called Chasing Rainbows. Yeah. And it's all about never giving up on your dream. Never giving up because you should, your dream is something that you should follow no matter what. And if, I, if it, and I believe that if a person stops you from pursuing your dream, you need to let that person go. They don't belong in your life. So it goes, chasing rainbows, I'm chasing rainbows. Whenever I'm sad and feeling bad, I chase rainbows. Chase in rainbows, pretty multicolored rainbows. Whenever I'm glum and feeling blue, I chase rainbows. Blue as can be, blue straight down to my knees. Blue like a child whose lollipop is dropped and it's hit the ground. That's why I'm chasing rainbows. I'm chasing rainbows. Whenever I'm sad and feeling bad, I chase rainbows. Awesome. <laughs> this is nice. Is this recorded? Yes. I sent it to you. You have it. Oh my goodness, so yes, I know she needs <laughs> You know what? You can play it. I'll take the live version. I don't have to go find it. So. I would have to go find it in my email. It was sent in my email. It was sent in your email, yes. yes. I hope I can find it. You Yes. What's that? I like live. You yeah, know? yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. By the way, you know, I've yes. been chatting quite a bit, but if anybody wants to call in, they can call in as questions. And, sure. Chat with Marie Claire. We'll Please. take that as well. <laughs> you know, I, I, you realize I take requests too. If you want to hear something? You realize, of course. You realize the um, the, the the energy level here is really really high. <laughs> you know, I I I I am yeah. trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. So you can do one of two things. You can either send us some comments here on 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 the Facebook Live. If you have a special request, you can do that. Um, you can also call us on the lines here four four nine three zero nine five. 449-3096 The overseas line is 305-432-9624 So that's 305-432-9624 um, Somebody's saying that this interview is really beautiful Thumbs up to this Somebody else is saying thumbs up um, To this young lady So feel free you know, to drop some comments here I'll try to read them um, if I can, but you can also give us a call um, on the regular lines as well. You need to put on your headphones, Mark. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> let's do that. Mark, let's talk about Caribbean fashion. Okay, let's oh, take yes. the phone. Hello, good evening. Hello? I fell under the spell. Yes, yes, man. <laughs> this girl has me. <laughs> Hi, how are you?
Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Thank you, Thank you so much. And and I have to agree. I have to agree, you know. Um you do jazz. Of course. You yes. do opera. Yes. And you do jazz hip opera. Yes. <laughs> um so you know, tea me. Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you you is a bouillon. I, I am my own bouillon. <laughs> That's yes, right. My own gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Edlyn Harris um, says to give you um, her love. Thank you. All right. My good friend, Prince, Prince, why are you up? <laughs> he says, question for Miss Giro. Can she sing, what's that, Nessam Doma? Oh, my God. No, and has she ever met opera singer Denise Graves? I have. I have. I'm actually in correspondence with Denise Graves. Um, Nessam Doma is a tenor aria. It's um, sung by a man. And even though I love it, I do not care to venture into the male territory of that aria because oh. it's quite treacherous. Yes. It's treacherous. Yes. But yes. you know you know what it is. So it's not your range. It's not my range. It's, it's sung by a man. Remember, your range is special. You know, I could sing this in Dorma. Yes, yes. You yes. could. I could. But yes. it's it's it could be a bit of a... Yes. Because it's done by a man. Yes. Okay. But anything else? Would you like to hear anything else? He, he, uh, Prince would like to know if you would like to hear anything else. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right. So feel free to yes. tell us if you would like to hear um, anything else from Mara Claire. Now, you did some work on The Chappelle Show? Yes. I was on the second season of The Chappelle Show. Dave Chappelle is absolutely a fantastic person. Isn't he like a comedian? He's a comedian, yes. Okay. So, I, I so what's the connection? Well. I act as well. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I love you, Daddy Mark. I love you too. <laughs> Who knew you could Who act too, knew? right? <laughs> Tell me about the acting bit. So, um,. <laughs> I was going out with a, with a graphic artist, Khalid, um, and his roommate was Darnell Rollins, who is, who is a comedian in New York. Ashley Larry was his name on The Chappelle Show. And he asked me, Ashley Larry. Ashley Larry, yes. And, um, and he said, you know, Mary Claire, you know, um, Dave needs some, needs some ad-lib people, people who just, you know, can like on the spot and create some stuff. And he said, why don't you come down to the show and meet him and meet the producers and stuff like that. And I did, and it was just like, I mean, I, the only show that I, I only, the only t show that I taped, only one was aired, but I filmed like six of them. So I've been like on the set with him quite a bit. And at the end of it, you know, we got so close. He's like, where's my opera singer? So she can sing this song. And so it was, it was fantastic. It was okay. just great. I just love being, I just love entertainment. I love entertaining. I like, I like making people happy and smiling. Do you want to do more of that? Of course. I, I want to do anything. I want to do everything that I can possibly do. I don't want to limit myself. The, the, the New York base mm -hmm. and, and journey mm -hmm. and um, getting settled in New yes. York and getting gigs, mm -hmm. getting auditions, mm -hmm. Um, getting to do what you love, getting work. Right. What is that like? It's very. It's not for the the meek. Mm -hmm. Being an artist is definitely not for me. It's something that you have to be obsessed about in order to pursue it, and that's with just if you're doing pop, rock, jazz. I mean, to be a classical artist, that's taking it to another level. You have to be obsessed about it because it takes a certain amount of discipline to do this art form. I mean, I'm training with my teachers every day. You know, learning scores. You're still learning. learning. Still, I'm a work in progress. I think we're all a work in progress. You know, I never want to stop learning or stop being curious about the world that I live in. You know, because then what, what's the point, you know? Then I grow old and I die. I never want to have that. I never want to lose that, create that curiosity of a child, you know? And um, wanting to learn more. So I think to be an artist, it's something I feel very privileged to be able to pursue my dream, but it has not been easy. But I would not give it up for anything. But you've survived on it. Oh, yes. You've survived. Yes, I have. Are you have. comfortable? I'm very comfortable. You're very comfortable. In my own skin. Okay. Yes. I mean, in terms of your living. Oh, well, no. Well, yeah, I live at home, but that's because I can't afford to live somewhere else because my lessons are so damn expensive. You still live with your mom? Oh, yes, and she's a West Indian mother. Need I say more? <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Is she listening? Uh, no. 
She's probably sleeping right now. She should be she'd be in bed already. Yes. What time is it? What time is it? Oh no 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 no. She's watching her Saint Rosary. You know my mother's West Indian and Roman Catholic. Oh my god. I'm, <laughs> I'm not talking about Catholic. I'm talking about Roman Catholic. I give up. Right. Thank you. Know, you give up at that point. That's all. I give up. I give up. I, I just it's what's the point of fighting? You don't fight it. You just go with it. You know. Oh my goodness. I've not had a good laugh on this show. <laughs> I love my mother dearly, but oh yes, yes, West Indian mother. So special. she says her ros her rosary still. What? The yes. How many times a day? And she has to go to her novenas and and and, and pray. And it's a long a legacy of praying, praying. Yeah. Okay. Somebody says yes. high spirit indeed. I would like to hear from Miss Shiro how competitive it is to break through as an opera singer in the USA. Has she ever appeared in an opera drama in a regional or local uh, product? There's more, but I can't read more. Well, actually, There's a lot more to read. Just, oh, just, just quite recently, I was accepted by the New York Dramatic Voices, which is um, a program that's affiliated with the Metropolitan Opera, and I got to sing roles, stage, Samson and Delilah. I was Delilah, you see, in mm -hmm. Samson and Delilah, be warned. Then I was the first maid <laughs> in Strauss's Electra, which was damn hard learning German. It's not only the fact that I had to learn sure. German, but um, it's the music. The music of Strauss's Electra is like, oh my God! I when I saw this music, I went to my teacher. I was like, I can't do this. I can't. This is the first time I've actually said that I can't do something. You know. I was like, I can't do this. This is impossible. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do it. They were like, calm, breathe. It's okay. And after I calmed down, you know, took a Valium or two, you know, and a drink, and, <laughs> and <laughs> Paulson, I have a Valium, yes. And it's a Valium. And, <laughs> they were sports. And, um, and I really looked at the score. I got it. And when I got it, I loved it. And I was singing in German. And I learned all the words. And at the same time, learning Samson and Delilah in French. So I was learning two completely different operas in two different languages that was fully staged and we had performances in January. So you see why I'm here? I'm here, I need to relax. Yes, you needed a break. I needed a break, absolutely. Talking about a break, yes. what do you do for fun outside of this? Um, I go see you like to do. All I want to do while I'm here is lie in the sun. Lie in the sun. Oh, like a, May, a mirror bitch. Like a big fish. Yes. I, just, I get a spatula and just flip me over. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Have some drinks, you know, nobody bother me too much, and just you know, have some very ice cold Kubalis. Mm -hmm. That's, That's mm -hmm. what you like? Yes. All right. Yes. But some Jack and Ginger, you know, some coconut water and rum, you know. So, so that's what you do for fun. Yeah, and go dancing or hang out with my friends. Like I all haven't seen forever. That I love you, Boo Boo, and my friend Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Joyce. I love her, and she's my other good friend. So I have very few friends, but you know they're my ride or die. And you have a couple. Yes. Ride or die chicks. Yes. Yes. And they're here. And they're here. A couple of yes. them are here. Yes. So when you're here, you spend some time with them. Absolutely. What would you like to do other than that while you're in Dominica? Well, I want the I, next few weeks. I want to go walking on a nature trail. I am so not a walking kind of on trail. I have kind a friend at work. He hikes every Saturday. Please, please. Well, or oh, every other Saturday they do. But yeah. I'm a completely outside prone person, so well, I wouldn't my I don't think he guide. wants that responsibility. <laughs> So he would have to hold my hand I or something. That responsibility. <laughs> I would um I would love to take the the, the, the um what is it the the walk to the volcano but just the name I've never been able to get over the name the Valley of Desolation that name alone deters me from that walk mm -hmm. I cannot go walking towards a place that's called that oh no I agree. <laughs> Down in desolation. I want to watch it. I don't even think about it. Exactly. Exactly. There's some nice little walks. I want to go to the waterfalls and all of that. Yeah, that would be great. Yes. Okay, somebody would like to. Okay. Oh, Mio. Babino. Oh, yes. 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 One more question before that. Somebody has one more question. What upper role is she. What upper world she would very much. Would like to perform? Or what opera? What opera role would you like to 
very much perform. Oh wow! Um, well, the one that I'm learning right now is the uh, the Princess and Suar Angelica. It's just it's fantastic. Um, but for an entire role, because it's just a specific part in the opera, it would be Delilah in Delilah. Samson and Delilah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fantastic music. It's so, and she's just so good, mm -hmm. wickedly good, mm -hmm. wickedly good, mm -hmm. bad good. Mm -hmm. Samson ain't seen nothing like that. They ain't nothing like that in the 12th tribe of Duda, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I hope that, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> just to say, yes, just a second. Michael, I hope that, um, that answered your question. Um, if you have any others, you'll let us know. So, go back to Omio. Oh, I want to be able to say, yes. say it for me. Omio Bapino Caro. O mio papino caro. There you go. There you yes. go. That's what he wants to do. Okay. okay, that's yes. fine. And that's actually from Gianni Schicchi. Yes, what is it, by the way? It's from Gianni Schicchi, um, which is by Giacomo Puccini. It's the same composer that, that wrote a poem. And um, in this aria, Loretta is singing Loretta. to her dad. Let her marry this boy that she loves so the much. Bambino, bambino. Oh, yeah. oh, mi, oh, mio papino caro. Oh, my dear father. Oh, my dear father. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. yes. Please let me marry. marry. Yes. 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 And, and yes. she's pleading with her dad to, to please let me marry him. Okay. Yes. And it's, it's, a, it's one of the more joyful. Oh, operas. I thought it would be really? like a more crying. No, no, no. Like no, a pleading. No, 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 no. This one, this one is actually very much joyful and funny. And But the one that I'm going to be singing in, in, um, July, that's a very heartbreaking opera. It's okay. it's re and it's but it's beautiful. Do you it's, get emotional? I do. You do. I do. Okay. I'm an emotional person. I'm yeah, sensitive. I am too. I'm a delicate flower. Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh okay. me, oh oh oh, oh me, oh bam 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 No. My voice goes. No. 
Not even when you're tired or anything? When I'm tired, yes, it can go. Because I know my goals when I'm a bit tired. Yes, you know? yes, and I need to lots of rest and yeah. Especially when I have to perform, I don't speak and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink lots of um, lemon water and lots of honey and stay away from dairy products and yeah. Mm -hmm. And to try and stay as fit as possible. But I'm going to start working out with Adams tomorrow because I need to get in better shape. What's your ultimate dream is to in be, this world? Is to be as in terms of what you do? My ultimate dream is to fulfill all the talents that the Almighty has given me and to inspire, whether they be children or adults, to pursue what makes you happy. There's no reason to be in a job that you are not happy in because you spend all of your life, nine hours, sometimes 10 hours a day, behind a desk or whatever, and a lot of people are just miserable. I was that. I worked in corporate America for a while. It was horrible. I'm so glad I'm not there. And yes, it's a sacrifice, you know, to pursue your dreams. But I'm so much happier. I'm so much happier. You know? And, and yes, it takes some courage. But that first step is, is the hardest. <laughs> How does Dominica fit into um, what's left of your life? It's my, it's my battery. It's my, it's my charger that I charge my battery, literally. I mean, I've been getting rest and just, just being able to walk in the sunshine and, and just looking out my window, looking at the sea and the sky. It's just these simple things, or looking at the moon, the moon reflecting on the water. These simple things just bring me so much joy. Do you plan on returning home at some point? Absolutely. Is there something you would like to do when you, even if it's for, um, um, young women who've been raped like yes. you have, yes. um, you yes. know, young women who have gone through um, those types of, of yes. exp experiences. I want years. to just, I just want to put out the call out there that if there's any boy or girl that are going through anything, please find a person that they can talk to. Please find a person. Please, you know, um, as I always say, the first step is always the hardest in anything, but, but try and take that first step and reach out. And if an adult sees a child, knows a child, and, and, and sees a change, you know, and sometimes it can be a subtle change. Ask a question, you know, and, and find out what's going on with that child because we are, the, we are the caregivers of children, so it's our responsibility to look after and protect them. Mm -hmm. Someone says, I have not ever listened to this music. And tonight you made me see this music from a different point of view. Absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> yes, and then, listen, go on to YouTube and pull up Pavarotti. I mean, everybody knows who Pavarotti is, you know, the big fat opera singing guy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Pav is, there's nothing like Pav. There is nothing like Pavarotti because this man sings and it's just like, oh. It's just like the floodgates are open. Jesse Norman, Leontine Price, these are black women that are sung opera, Denise Graves. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. It's and incredible. these among those that inspire mm -hmm. you? Shirley Barrett, you... yes, Grace Bunbury. I mean, there's, there's tons. And you know, you know what is so crazy that right now everything is available to us by a click? Yes. Everything is online. Everything is online. And you can find it. You can explore it. You can. My mother knew nothing about music, but I wanted to do music. And she, she, I told her. And she put me in piano lessons and all this kind of stuff. So it's out there. There's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. A, a very good friend who constantly listens all the way in Alaska. Ooh, Alaska. Um, yes, he wow. says, my wife is an opera, opera professor in Ideal and um, singer and listening to this lady makes me proud as a Dominican. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. We thank really you. appreciate those kind um, um, comments and we'll welcome a couple more. Uh, uh, look at the time. Ooh. What time is it? It's three minutes to ten. Oh. <laughs> Which, time do you, do you, I hope you have the perfect one to take us out tonight oh, yes. on the program. I do. I do. Yes, you have the perfect one, but yes. we're not ready yet. Okay, we're, not ready. we're not ready yet to, 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 to have the perfect one. Okay. Um, I really just want to say, um, Marie Claire, that I think you're someone special. Thank you. And I think you're something special. Um, I, 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 I learned 
things about you tonight mm -hmm. um, made me a bit emotional. Um, I think probably because you just brought it out and you just threw it at me, you know, it's like a curveball, you just threw that at me and I didn't see, I didn't see it coming and, um, you know, um, I, 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 I really wanted us to have the, the one-on-one before, <laughs> but I just wasn't able to fit it into, yes. into my schedule, yes. you know, before tonight. Well. Yes, but it worked out well, yes. you know, and, and, and um, I, I, I appreciate you coming here and sharing with us and, you know, especially sharing that part um, of your life with us. As I said, you know, most times people are not very open, you know, talking about this. I think one person wrote that um, you talking about it actually brought back a memory. It probably means that person probably has not even dealt yes. with, with, right. with, with, with um, right. their situation and what they had to deal with. Um, it was unfortunate that nothing happened to those who, who um, did whatever they did to you. Um, and as a result, I think you said you have some cracks, but you're mm -hmm. not broken. No. Um, I really hope that those cracks still, you know, um, over time mm -hmm. that they can, whatever their size well, are. Well, you know, the Chinese have a saying, it's the bowl that has the cracks that's yes. the most beautiful. Ah, there you go. Yes, but I, I still do hope that they close in a little bit, you know. Oh, they close, but they the cracks close. are just visible. They're so just visible. They're just cracks. They're just visible. Yes. They're just cracks. Um, I, I, I really hope that you get the opportunity to help others mm -hmm. um, who've been through yes. similar situations. I know you say that you do some work um, with your, your, your high school, your former high school. Yes. Um, uh, cathedral high yes. school in Manhattan. Yes. So you go there occasionally yes. and you do some work. Mm -hmm. um, you work with charities. But I want you to work, I mean, this is just my ask, Yes. I really want you to work with victims Absolutely. Of, of, of what you've experienced. Please, I can continue I, doing this that. This is what I want to do. I yes. remember there is this person I said that I want you please. To, to, please. To, to connect with. Absolutely. And to just, just have a, a bit of a chat with her. Absolutely. It's I think he's going to help her um, in, 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 in a huge way. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you um, who it is after we're done. Okay. We're off. We're off air. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I just really enjoyed having you here tonight. It was so much fun. Yes, you, 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 you we, we were serious. Yes. We had a lot of fun. Yes, we laughed have. a lot. Yes. I didn't even know if I was your personality, by the way. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that was a person. I mean, I know Mara Claire, you right. know. Hi, yes. Mara Claire. Hello, how are right. you? Right. And so on and so forth. But I didn't know that was your personality. Yes. But I love it. Thank you. And don't change it. It's not changing. For anyone. Thank you so no much. No one whatsoever. I won't. Do not change it. And, um, you know, there might be a couple of people who might have said tonight, oh my God, those ladies are just laughing on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think a lot of people probably needed that. Somebody yes. says, I really do appreciate listening to the show tonight. Thank you, Mara Clegiro. Thank you. Mara Clegiro is truly amazing. Aww. You know, you. so some very nice things that people are saying as well, and, I appreciate and um, in terms of what they think about you. So as we wrap up, Mara Claire, I want to give you the platform yes. to say whatever you would like to say to us as we uh, wrap up the program. Mm -hmm. And I do hope that you have a fantastic time, um, that you get to just lay down on the beach oh, yes. and get that spatula to just turn you over. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, um, let's get some final comments from you as we wrap. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank, first of all, you for Diana for having me on the show and for reaching out to Ayola. It was really a pleasure. I didn't expect this, but it's been um, sometimes the most unexpected things are the most joyful. So I appreciate it very much for appreciating me and having me on. Ayola, thank you for being my friend. <laughs> and always supporting me, always being there. Joyce, I love you so much, my other very good girlfriend. Um, Leroy Adams, I mean, I have so many people to thank. My mom, um, um, my dad, um, Ian Pringle. Ian Pringle is a cousin of mine that Ian Pringle never heard me sing, and Ian Pringle supported my singing. Gates sent me money for my lessons in New York, and he never heard me sing. Oh, wow. And um, these kind of people are few and far between, and, um, and I'm thankful for them. For Tonelli Starr, um, I miss her greatly. She was a really dear friend. Um, and if there's anyone else that I have forgotten, forgive me. Um, Arturo Bella, one of the best filmmakers on the island. I'm sorry for you others, but he is the best on the island. Yes. And I'm not 
bias. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Truly is the best. When given the opportunity, I'm sure I can do amazing things. Um, and, and just to everybody on the island, you know, support, support someone with a vision and a dream. You know, so even if you don't understand it, you don't believe in it, you don't under, you know, you're like, oh my God, what is this? Give the person the opportunity in the platform to do something. Um, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not good, doesn't mean it can't do something. Um, support the youth, they are our everything. Protect the children, and, um, and yeah, that's it. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yes. Peace and love to you too, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So you're going to take us out yes. um, with something beautiful. Yes. And while you're doing that, I just want to once again thank you um, for being here. I think you were just a, 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 a ray of sunshine thank <laughs> in you. the studios tonight. It's not that we don't normally have a, a rays of sunshine in here, but I'm just saying you were really awesome you. tonight, and I really thank appreciate you. you for being here. So, special. ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> taking us out tonight on the In the Spotlight radio show, yes. the beautiful, the talented, from the beautiful nature island of the world, Miss Marie Claire Giro. So this is this is my go-to song. This is a song when I'm at home. I always go back to this song. It is it comes from Tchaikovsky's Sleeping Beauty, and anybody who knows Walt Disney, it's from Sleeping Beauty. You know, it's um, Once Upon a Dream, oh. and I love this song. It's just so beautiful. So this is Once Upon a Dream. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. in the spotlight and singing so beautifully for us tonight doing some <laughs> jazz and doing some um, opera. opera for us we really really do appreciate it we loved it we enjoyed it and some people said again as we heard that they probably didn't understand it didn't pay much attention to it but for some reason you seem to have drawn them to it tonight Fantastic. so you are drawn to <laughs> <laughs> All right, next week, Monday, as I said, I don't know who they're going to be as yet. 20 Calypsonians. I'm going into the same mindset. This Saturday, I'm part of that there's going to be nine Calypsonians selected to move on to the grand finals to meet King Bob. Yes. And so, whoever they are, the nine, I'm saying it to you out there. Don't be looking for me to be calling you on Sunday and say, um, you know, you should know by now once you make it. Oh, oh men are some nutcase. That's my hip hop guys. What's that? Oh, what? Lord. <laughs> men are some nutcase. <laughs> oh, you remember this? Yes. At the end of the program. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, again, as I was saying, the Calyptonians who make it through. Uh, Monday night, you're going to be here, and we're going to have another fantastic program. I want to hear the stories. I want to hear the, oh, the writers. I want to hear about the meanings yes. behind yes. the songs. There's some of them I really want to know about. So I'm yes. looking forward to this next week, um, Monday night. And the following Monday, as we head into the carnival weekend, we'll be having the Rain Monarch. Um, King Bob, who's done quite a bit of work 
um, during his reign. I'm looking forward to hearing some of the work that he's done and um, what the reign was like for him because I've not had a chance to speak to him since he won. I want him to take me back to the night of the crowning and all of that good stuff. So this, that's what's coming up next. Um, on the following Mondays and we have some other good stuff scheduled as well post carnival so thank you again for being here again it's been a long day and I look forward to getting a beautiful <laughs> rest and, and, you did it, and you did it beautifully it for Daniel, with a smile, a smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's it on tonight's program until we meet again next week Monday thank you so much everyone for tuning into the program I appreciate every one of you who listened via the radio, those of you who viewed um, on social media, on, on, on Facebook. We really do appreciate all of you. Remember to become a fan of our um, ITS fans page. Uh, just go to the link. There's a link on my page. You can look for it or just go to the page and ask to join. There's a couple of questions you have to answer, which you should know if you're a fan. So just come on and be a part of our fan page where we put schedule and other things that we do not put anywhere else. That's a wrap. Until next time.